nice cold morning in the Twin Cities. Hard to believe already. It's time to think about prom. I know. Ah, uh, but it is. It is. Uh, friends of ours were taking their daughter prom dress shopping just uh, Sunday when we saw them. For a lot of people, it can be a financial challenge, and there's a local nonprofit making sure that no girl goes without a dress this year. Yes, and that is Operation Glass Slipper, holding a big event this weekend. Kylie Burst joins us now live from South Hill Center in Edina with more on the Princess event. Hi, Kylie. Hi, Kim. This is one of my favorite events that happens every single year that we get to tell you about because prom is such a special time in everyone's life and it can be really expensive. So Pam here with us from Operation Glass Slipper is making sure that everyone can afford it. And I love what you do. Pam, good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Tell me, for those who don't know, tell us a little bit about what Operation Glass Slipper is. Well, we started 12 years ago, so this is our 12th year. And our premise was that any girl who was in financial need mm -hmm. or just need and could not afford a prom dress, could come to us and we outfit her completely for free. Dress, shoes, purse, two pieces of earrings, yeah. and then two pieces of jewelry, yeah. and then um, free alterations. So that's the amazing. Whole thing is free. Because you think about it, I mean, it can add up to hundreds and hundreds of dollars, and that's such a burden on families. Mm -hmm. And what you guys have here, too, is really incredible. We have a couple of models up with us this morning. I mean, these dresses are brand new and they're yeah. just gorgeous. And you can tell we've got short, we've got long, we've got high, low, we've got slinky, we've got the princess style. I mean, whatever you want and in all the various colors. Yeah. So how do you do this? Like, how do you have such beautiful dresses and high quality stuff that you're able to give away for free? Well, by this point, we've got a lot of manufacturers around the country who ship us after their prom season. They ship us a lot of free dresses. And then the community opens up their heart and they're always doing dress drives. And should something be slightly used, I will wash it and then rebeat it so it looks brand new. I love what you do. Do you, uh, I know you're, so it's two days. It's Saturday and Sunday mm -hmm. and there are still slots open and people mm -hmm. can come um, and you still have some spots. They don't need to have anything, right? Nope. Saturday afternoon yeah. or Sunday afternoon they can come with their high school ID okay. and a parent or a guardian so they don't need the referral form. And then you guys take them back and it's almost like a beautification yeah. process. Well, they're assigned a fairy godmother one-on-one oh. -on -one, and then she takes them through the whole process and it's very cool because I mean you're being treated like a princess. Yeah. And for the, you to get to, you've done this for 12 years now, what are those moments like when you see a girl put on a dress that maybe she couldn't afford otherwise? Well, and, and look at how good these gals look. They look amazing. You know, first of all, they don't really know how they're going to be treated when they come in. Yeah. And then we treat them like a princess, and it's that one-on-one -on -one attention. And then at the end, when they found that dress, and they know they look good, and they pet the dress. Yes! Oh, it's so <laughs> cute. And, so, and then they're beaming, and it's so exciting to see that transformation. Yeah. Where did the idea come from for you to start this? You know, years ago, I was reading in Good Housekeeping. After yeah. Katrina, there was a girl in Chicago, and she collected dresses, sent them down to New Orleans so that the girls could still have prom. And I ran into my teenager's room, and I said, we could do that. And she's <laughs> like, yeah, we can collect dresses and send them down to New Orleans. And I said, no, I bet there's a need here. Yeah. And there was, and immediately the community opened up. And that first year, we did 500, and the next year was 750, and then we've been about 1,000 since. Um, just incredible. Pam, thank you for everything thank that you, you. do. Thank and you we're going to, of course, and we're going to put everything on WCCO.com slash links for anyone who wants to come out. Again, it's free. You just come, you just bring that high school ID and you bring a parent or guardian. And it's so fun. I love hanging out with Pam in the morning because I showed up and I was like, I forgot my earrings. <laughs> Pam, help me out here. <laughs> Jason, I, I noticed, Kim. I noticed there them right go. away, Kylie, and they are <laughs> Did you? Mashing. I knew you would. Yes. And then look at this. Okay. Check this out. Oh, that's Isn't this pretty. Fun? Oh my goodness. The ring to the cuff? I love it. I know, I'm feeling really just beautified this morning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Make sure Kylie leaves all this. Okay. <laughs> all right. Pam is a delight, too. It's we fine. just it's love fine. her. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Kylie. Oh. Yep. Well, we know prom is a rite of passage for high school students all over the country. But it can be really expensive. That's why a local nonprofit wants to make sure no girls are left out because they can't afford a dress. Kelly Verse joins us now live from Southdale Center in Edina to talk about Operation Glass Slipper. Hi, Kylie. Hi, Kim. It's so fun to think that we're already starting to talk about prom season, but Oh man, we talk about these stories every year, how expensive it is, and some girls, they just can't afford it, and it's tough on their families, but I love this organization, Operation Glass Slipper. We've got Pam here with us this morning. Good morning. Hi, Kylie. Tell me a little bit about what this is, because I just, I, you know how much I yeah. love your organization. 
Every year, that we're going into our 12th year, yeah. and every year we put out a notice. Any girl in Minnesota who can't afford a prom dress can come to us. And she gets a dress, a pair of shoes, two pieces of jewelry, and a purse, and free alterations. So she's set to go to prom, and it's all free. And it's all really good stuff, too, because you might yeah. think, oh, okay, like maybe you'll be able to tell I got it for free. Well, let's show you some of the dresses, mm -hmm. and we have got four beautiful models up with us this morning. They look incredible. I mean, no. this is you would never know. No, not at all. And so many of the dresses are donated by companies, and um, even the ones that are gently used, I wash and rebead, yeah. so they all look brand new. And the the jewelry to go along with it yes. too. Every, I mean, every single part of it, down to the shoes too. Oh, no. look at the look at those. Can we see the orange shoes down here? I mean, come on, oh, yeah. they are so tall. Yeah. Probably not great dancing shoes, but you're gonna look fantastic as you're standing there. You know, kind of swaying along. Uh, Michelle, tell me about your role with Operation Glass Slipper. I founded a group uh, called Mobile Menders, so we provide free volunteer sewing and mending for people in need around the Twin Cities. And Pam reached out to me a few months ago, and we've been helping her mend some of her more challenging dresses. And then in April, we're going to take off hopefully 500 of her dresses off site and do all the alterations for her at one time. Which is just incredible. And you think about it's, it makes such a big difference altering a dress to have it fit your body. It does something to the confidence, I think, for the girls, too. It does. It does. So we're really excited. I've got I've got about 25, 30 volunteers right now, and I'm looking for more to come. So yeah. it's going to be a fun event. So what kind of volunteers are you looking for? Just someone with sewing experience? Uh, minor sewing experience, uh, people who like to pin dresses and cut them, um, and and people that just want to have some fun so and just be around pretty dresses fantastic and these are gorgeous dresses Pam how do you do it how do you get such beautiful dresses in here for so many girls well a lot of connections yeah. I mean I really put the word out and and usually like somebody will help us and then that will lead to something else and they know somebody mm -hmm. who makes dresses and it all connects up yeah, yeah. I mean it, and you spend a good I know a good chunk of your year working on it collecting oh, dresses yeah. all leading up to these two days right. so it's Saturday and Sunday mm -hmm. and people can still come out is that right yes we have still uh, openings on Saturday afternoon and Sunday afternoon okay. so if you're a girl who's watching this or a parent yeah. just bring your high school ID and a parent or guardian with you and we will take care of you do they need to sign up or anything ahead of time no no nope, okay. just show up just show up and then I understand there's a fairy godmother type experience yes. too yes yes so as soon as you come in you get matched up with a fairy godmother yeah. and it's a one-on-one -on -one experience and then the fairy godmother takes you through all the things and helps you choose everything yeah. and when you're done you are gorgeous and you know <laughs> it and you're really excited okay, yeah. yeah I love it okay Pam Michelle girls thank you so much thank for getting you. up early with thank us you. this morning again Saturday and Sunday and we'll put all the information at wcco.com slash links I love this organization organization so much. It's so fun to be here. And um, did I do a little bit of sampling? Oh, yes, I did. We know you were. Here we Kylie. go. Look at this. Uh, and I've got the earrings to go along you're, with it. You're set. I mean, you're ready you to go feel, to prom. You do. You feel like you're a princess here. Yep. You're ready to go to prom. <laughs> we just true. need a date now. Oh, I don't know where I'm going to find one of those. It'll be tough. Uh, all right. What a great organization. We're so do lucky not, to High them. school boys, do not ask Kylie to prom. No, I think this could be do fun. Not, no. <laughs> be fun. Let's put it out no. there. No. 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 Nope. I don't all think right. we're allowed to go to prom. I think that, that there's a cutoff age. All right. Kylie, thank you. <laughs>